And then I'm going to add a little bit of striping. Where the orange and the yellow stripes are, I'm just going to add this right in the bottom. Just like that. I'm going to add some more stripes in my forehead. And then using black track, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows as well and exaggerate it really good. You can even do a little wing right in the end and that's going to add like a stripe look as well. Next I'm going to fill in this area right here with more chrome yellow. And I'm going to extend it out right between these two lines. And I'm also going to highlight the bridge of the nose using chrome yellow. Alright, once you set all the stripes, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight some of them. And the best way to do it is using a white eyeliner. And this is fascinating by MAC. And the trick is to make sure that it's really sharp. Like the point is really sharp. And what you want to do is you just want to add this right on the top of the black. The black track. Just like that. And this is going to give dimension to your stripes. Okay, and next I'm going to add this right into my lash, my lower lash line and into my water line so that it'll make my eye look or appear bigger. Okay, next I'm going to apply thick mascara. And this is Mascara X from MAC. And if you prefer to wear false eyelashes, you could as well. That will make your eye really more dramatic. Just a little bit on the bottom lash. Okay, next I'm going to make the mask really pop out by deepening the outer perimeter. And I'm going to use 
a blush on this and any red tone blush would work. I'm going to use Frankly Scarlet from MAC. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to initially apply the color outside the perimeter of the line. And just go around the whole mask and then I'm going to brush it downwards. Just like that. So just do that all around the mask. Okay, and then I'm going to create a shadow around the mask um, from that Stubborn Brown PowerPoint Pencil marker that we did. I'm going to use just a little tiny mop brush, just like this, and I'm going to use Carbon. And basically I'm going to smudge and smoke this just right underneath that Stubborn Brown Pencil. Okay, just like that. And then once you apply that on, just kind of blend that right into the Frankly Scarlet shadow. So that, that's going to make the mask really, really stand out. And once again, do it all the way around. Make it as thin as you can on the top, but thicker on the bottom. So that way it looks more th um, 3D. Alright, it's going to make the mask pop a little bit more. So. Just do it nice and thin on the top, but make it just about like this on the bottom, and that's going to give it dimension. Okay, so I've finished outlining the mask and creating a shadow in it. So as you can see, it's kind of like thicker on the bottom, but it's really thin on the top. And if I step back, you can really see that my mask pops out really good. So now, finally, you can just top it off with any lip color you wanted. I prefer plum, or if you want to be big and bold, do the reds. So, I'm going to use brick as my liner. And then I'm going to use Viva Glam 6, which is a plummy rose color. And of course, Viva Glam, if you buy one, all the proceeds go to a good cause. So, and it's a great holiday gift. So, if you're thinking of what to get somebody this Christmas, think about getting Viva Glam. And I'm just going to start from the center of the pad. I'm going to work outwards. And then for more intensity, I'm just going to use the color or the lipstick. And just apply that on. Oh yeah, the darker your lipstick, the whiter your teeth gets. So that's the tip. <laughs> and then finally, I'm just going to add a gloss right in the center of the pat. And then just blend a little bit outwards. Press, same thing on the top, just a little bit on the center, press. And that will complete your look, so hopefully this is going to be a hit for you this Halloween and it's really easy to do and it's really simple, so just wear something like a cat print shirt and wear little cat ears that you buy in the store or you can wear a wig if you want. Uh, it's up to you, so just be as glamorous as you can. You can also add some rhinestones if you like, glitz it up with glitters, and um, you know, just have a ball. But most impo importantly, make sure to take those extra precautionary, precautionary steps this Halloween. It can be very dangerous out there, so especially if you have kids. So, um, until next time, I'll do a couple more Halloween looks for you, and uh, enjoy watching my videos, and uh, have a great, spectacular Halloween this year. Bye!